Our smartphones have become the main hub for our lives, and we use them for pretty much everything. Everything. And how, however, uh, smartphones are also great targets for hackers who secretly can download malware into your phone, turning it into a device that does more harm than it does good. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprace is joining us with some answers about what to do if your phone has been secretly hacked. Well, guys, because these criminals put their malware onto your phone without you knowing it, you've got to be a bit of a detective to try and figure out if your phone has been compromised. And if you look real close, you'll see there are signs. On a scale of 1 to 10, how concerned are you about having your smartphone infected with some kind of malware? I'd say about 8 to 9. And she worries for good reason. The cybersecurity company Kaspersky detected nearly three and a half million attacks on mobile devices in 2021. How do these infections get on our phones? Well, some are imported via apps containing malicious software. Still others result from clicking phishing links like this sent in a text or email. If somebody does click on a link um, or open up an attachment, and it has malware in it, then their, their local machine could be compromised. There are a number of signs your phone has secret malware in it. You'll notice your phone battery drains quickly after it's been fully charged. Your phone gets very hot to the touch because it's running constantly. You'll get notices about high data usage because your phone is always transmitting something. And there are outgoing calls or texts which you didn't send. In addition to malware from phishing and apps, you need to be aware of external threats to your phone. I try to not get on public Wi Fi mm -hmm. because I know that that is a way that they can get into your phone and do things. Also, I would never charge my phone at a charging station where they provide the chargers. That scam's called juice jacking, and I've reported on it in the past. It's where hackers manipulate the USB ports at public charging stations to infect your phone. Now, if your phone shows signs of infections, you have to download some kind of virus software for your phone, but which one is best for you? Well, to help you out, I've included a link in my web story, which includes price and feature comparisons of seven different brands of antivirus software. That way, you can decide which works best for you and your budget. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprayshaw. I had no idea that I had to worry about these things, so yeah. Steve, thank you. Well, I am here. Yes,